four people from the high school youth group Sunday school class have read the Bible through in about the last hundred days. Adam, what caused you to say, I'm going to read this Bible so quickly? Well, I mean, I always wanted to do it, but um, I always wanted to do it, but uh, Johnny um, had us do it for uh, the Sunday school class, and um, I thought, you know, well, now I have the motivation for it. So uh, it was just kind of, I needed that catalyst to, to get me going. But uh, I've, always, I've always wanted to read it all the way through. All right. So it was because you were doing Sunday school. What, what caused you to want to do it, Stephanie? Um, it really made me think about it when Lou said, he's like, as a Christian, you know, it would be kind of alarming to put your faith all on something that, like, you've never re even read all the way through. Like, you know, like, as Christians, we should probably read all the way through what we believe or what we say we believe. And I thought that, like that really hit me because I was like yeah like I thought I knew, knew things about it but like have I ever really read all the way through it and so that kind of made me want to read it. All right. Come on. I was really glad that I decided to, decided to do it and I could already feel it like changing my life. Terrific. What did you have to give up in order to create that extra hour? We'll start with Colette this time. Did you have to give anything up? Probably just like watching TV with my family before like like before bed that kind of thing or like reading other things besides um, having less time to do my homework, stuff like that. Less time to do homework. I was glad you said that. <laughs> yeah. All right. How about for you, Stephanie? Um, well, like, I've just learned to, like, I have a, I got a pocket Bible because I was like, I was like, I'm going to be dedicated to this. Like, it's going to be easier to carry around. So I put it in my purse, and, like, whenever I've had a moment to sit down, I'm usually just, like, bury my nose in it. So, um, I guess just having it around everywhere and doing that as like free time as opposed to like, I don't know, just chilling or like sleeping or something. All right. So. What'd you give up, Adam? Well, I mean, for me, when I, when I start doing something like that, it, it kind of becomes an obsession. Like, it's just like, okay, well, forget everything else now. I'm just going to do this. And in the beginning, it's really easy because I can just say, oh, yeah, no, that doesn't matter anymore, you know messing around on the computer, listening to music for hours, it doesn't matter, so I can just sit there and read for a really long time. But um, after that, I kind of, you know, I, I slowly decline on my, like, drive, my immediate drive. And so it was, I had to give up things that I wanted to do. Like, I like listening to music a lot, so I had to give up my music. Um, that, was, that was probably the main thing that I gave up after that initial drive. Did you learn anything about God as a result of reading this? God loving someone like me is just amazing, and I know I don't deserve it, but the fact that he does anyway is, is great, and now I understand. I, I see that he does love me, and I don't exactly understand why, but at least I know that he does. Well, right. just like the complexity of um, him as a, um, a spiritual being, I guess, more like how um, he had all these love, but he also was um, like disciplining the people and like, I don't know, just how complex his character really is. And um, I also realized as I was reading it um, that like I've always thought, oh, I know a lot about the Bible, but really there's like there you can never you never stop learning. Like, um, so I learned that. <laughs> and then also how, I mean, opportune, like I like everything. Um, like if I would be like, oh, well, I wanted to read up to this point yesterday, but I didn't get there. If then I read it the next day, something has happened between those two days that it would apply to. And if I had read it earlier, then it wouldn't have applied to that. So like every time I read something, I feel like it always has to do with my life. And I feel like God kind of planned that for me. Cause, you know. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Colette. Um, I think like I learned a lot more about like God's character, probably most of all, just like how holy, it, how holy he is. And like that's why like he has to like punish sin and stuff. It's because of how holy he is. I think that's one thing I learned. All right. 